Hello students, to get your Microsoft SQL Server 2014, you get it here when you pay and you get it here when you don't pay. So it's free when you look at that link there. This is actually for your information. So if your school is eligible and you have your school email address, you should be able to get it for free for all science students. You would click on student and then you sign up or sign in. And then you read this, enter your information, make sure it's your school email address and then click on continue to verify. Confirm your school email address on both fields and click verify. An email will be sent to you after you have clicked on verify and the email message looks like this. When you open your school email address, you'll be able to see the link, the email sent to you. You would click on this link to confirm your email. When you click on the link to confirm your email, it will tell you to click on this link. Now, when you confirm your email address as a student, it's going to say, congratulations, you are set up. So it tells you to click on continue. When you click on continue, it's going to tell you to sign in again. Okay, this is the final confirmation. So you click on this to sign in with the same information. And then it opens up your MSN account. You log in into your account. And then it takes you to this place. You select what you want. You go to SQL Server on this page. Our SQL Server is the one in red. This is the one you should download. When you click on that SQL image, it's going to take you here. Make sure you click on Get Key because when you install it, it's going to ask you for installation key. In the drop down, you would need to select the product version you're looking for. You, so you need to click on the download manager. Now, when you click on the download manager, it's going to bring um, this information here to you. You have to click on save, then click on run. It starts to install. Click on next. Agree. Click on next, click on next, wait here, the download manager is installing, it's in still installing, now it's done installing, you close the download manager. Now you go back to your download and click on download, this is your SQL Server download. Click on start download. Wait because it's downloading here. Keep waiting. Now it's done downloading and then it's unpacking. Keep waiting and then it's done. Now you can launch. Click on launch. First of all, you go to your C, dri C drive, locate the download folder, and then you'll be able to see your copy of SQL Server.